So many of you have probably seen my 4th of July mowing video I put out last week and I was actually getting some questions from some people asking me how I actually do it. And so in this video, I'm going to walk you step by step how I prepare myself to be able to do a mow like that so that if you ever want to do anything special in your yard, it doesn't have to be 4th of July themed obviously, but you can be able to take the same approach uh, to any kind of special mow you'd like to try to do in your yard. So let's get out of the weeds. Thank you guys for coming back to yet another video. If you guys like the videos that I'm putting out, please be sure to like uh, and subscribe to this channel. So today I wanted to walk you step by step on how to mow a special pattern in your yard. So this was actually my fourth year that I've done an American uh, themed uh, mowing pattern in my yard. And so I'll show you guys pictures on the screen here of what it's looked like uh, year after year. And so I began this back in 2019 and I didn't even have a drone back then. So I was just kind of really brand new into lawn care, really kind of trying to learn some stuff. And so I just always thought like as I started striping, I thought, man, this would be cool to try to do a little bit of a different pattern. And then I thought, oh, American flag, it's kind of straight line. So I wonder if I can do an American flag. And so that's when it kind of gave me the idea. And so I went and I mowed my first American flag. So I'll show you pictures here. I didn't have a drone, so I actually, after I got done mowing it, I actually just stood up on top of my car. I parked my car on my side road, stood up on top of the hood of my car just to try to get a little bit higher of a picture um, so you could kind of see the American flag because the American flag is pretty hard to see uh, whenever you're at ground level on the sidewalk. Um, but that was my first year. The first year I did, I was so excited about that American flag. And so I went and, and, and did it again in, in 2020. And so this time I had a drone, but this the drone wasn't uh, didn't take that high quality of pictures. Um, and so I, I mowed it in the second year. I went and, and kind of tried to get a little bit better with it. Um, and then so I changed the pattern just slightly, kind of what I was doing. And then my wife actually crashed the drone, which is kind of a funny story. Um, on the 4th of July, on my second year, I was so excited to do my mowing. And my wife's like, hey, I, I can fly it up. Let me try flying it. So I give it to her and she like gets disoriented with which direction the drone's pointed, flies it right into our neighbor's tree. And so luckily before she took the controls, I got a couple pictures. So that was all I got from the, the second year that I did it. Then last year in 2021 was uh, the first year that I actually did a time-lapse video to me mowing and so my wife actually saying God bless the USA uh, recorded that in studio and so we, we did that um, and it turned out really good I, I in that one I tried to incorporate the flag kind of waving a little bit and so each year as I've kind of been looking through like the pictures from the year before I've always kind of noticed something that I thought like ah, I think I could do this a little bit better and so with this being my fourth year I was like okay let's see if we can perfect this of what my vision for this type of mow is going to look like and so this year it really turned out good I tried to get the flag more to scale in previous years uh, if you notice like the inside box of the flag it was a lot smaller in previous years so this one I tried to get it a lot more to scale um, for where the stars are so now that I covered a little bit of a backstory to my American uh, flag mowing, um, I want to go ahead and give you guys tips to if you want to try to do a special mowing pattern in, in your lawn. So no matter what kind of pattern you're doing, you can follow this, this type of the same type of pattern step by step to be able to easily do a special pattern in your yard. Step number one, figure out what pattern you want to mow. Whenever I go into figuring out into the 4th of July, I always try to change up my pattern just slightly. Yeah, I always have kept the American flag, but the other parts of my lawn have always kind of mixed up a little bit. And so what you want to do, if you want to do a special mow in your yard, get a good idea. So what I do is I normally take a photo of just above of my yard with my drone. And so I just start with a photo and then I actually just draw out on the photo what I want the yard to look like on each section. So I kind of get a vision for what I want it to look like. If you don't have a drone, just take a picture, go to each section of your lawn, hold your camera up as high as you can, and take a picture of that section of the lawn. Start to envision based on how your yard looks, the shapes of things, of what kind of design or look would look good in each section. And so I'll show you guys an example here. This was actually my sketch that I kind of drew up uh, over a 
drone photo from my lawn of what I wanted my 4th of July to look like this year. After you have your idea created, the next thing to do is to mark it out on your lawn. So what I will actually do about a week to a week and a half before I do my mow is I'll actually go through my yard and I will mark the points and the shapes of what I'm mowing with utility flags. And so if you've ever had your yard marked for utilities, which I had, have had a million times, they always leave these little flags. And so I've always just kept them anytime they've done it just because I'm like, oh, that's a cool little flag. And so it's come in handy because now anytime that I want to do a mow, I first mark it with flags. So for me, it was important with a flag to make sure I do it to scale. So I actually went online to a flag calculator and then I determined, okay, if my flag, for example, the numbers I use was 55 feet wide. So if my flag goes the length of 55 feet, how, how tall does it have to be or how wide does it have to be if it's 55 feet long? And so then I was able to calculate that out to make sure it fit within my lawn to a nice scale. If you're not doing something that needs to be to scale, then you don't have to worry about having specific uh, lengths uh, correctly. But for me, I wanted to try to make it as close to scale as possible. And so what I do then is then I go out in my yard and I measure it out just with a normal tape measure. I measure out each section of it and then I mark it with one of these utility flags. And so what this does is it kind of gives me now an on lawn visual indicator of what I'm looking to do. Now, anytime I'm doing any kind of special type of mow, I always want to have entry and exit points on the actual lawn so that I can go down them and not worry about messing up uh, my work. And so if you see directly here behind me, you can actually still see where the cross was in the lawn. And so what I did here is when I did a cross, the length of the lawn, it always has to just go one direction. So to do the cross, the cross had to be mowed one direction and then the whole rest of my lawn had to be mowed the other. And so I actually used the dead center down the cross uh, as my kind of on and off points. And so if I show you kind of reference to the video of me actually mowing it, you can see I consistently go down the, that same path straight down my lawn because I'm trying to get to the other side. And so I kind of use that as my entry and exit points. And so whenever it came to my American flag, what I had to do is I actually make entry and exit points on the edges of the flag. So if you see here in the video of me mowing it, you can see when I end the flag in that I'm, I can go up and down those lines. And so that won't mess up my, my image because I'm not on the flag. And so on the edges of the flag, I use those two mow lines as kind of my entry and exit points. And so if I always know where those are, I can always get out safely without messing up uh, the lawn. And so whenever I'm actually mowing it, I need to just make sure that I'm on the correct line when I'm mowing. And so when I get to my entry or exit point, I can just get off the lawn that way and then get back on where I need to. Next, it's important to know what color you're going to be making things. So if you look at the lawn and it's mowed towards you, it's dark. If you see it and it's light, it means that it was mowed away from you. So it's important to always keep that in mind whenever you're going to mow your pattern. So after I have marked the shape that I want to do, I will pull it, pull up all the flags. So I take all the flags off because I'm not going to use them whenever I'm actually filming it live uh, for the video. And so I want it to be me just going off of the preparation that I had and not actually have kind of cheat flags. But what I'll actually do about a week before, after I've marked the, marked the lawn and everything, is I'll actually kind of do a practice run just to make sure it's going to kind of turn out how I want because I really kind of only have one shot to do this one when it's go time. And so I usually will do just a dry run. And so you can see here some pictures that I took um, about a week before I actually did my mow um, of just of me trying to do some of the patterns. And so I didn't do it exactly how I ended up actually doing it on the day, but I wanted to kind of mow similar patterns to it uh, just so I could see, okay, how is this going to turn out and do I have the ability to be able to do this correctly? If you're not going to be recording it for a video or trying to get it to a lot, a large group of audience, then it's not going to necessarily matter as much if you practice. You can just have fun with it. If it turns out cool, show the, uh, show the wife or the husband and, uh, and have them be impressed. If it turns out bad, then they probably aren't looking at the lawn anyway, so you could just mow it differently next time and, and try again later. Um, I, I've definitely done that before when I've tried mowing special patterns. And so 
uh, the thing to keep in mind is just have fun with it. You'll get better at it as you keep going. I've improved greatly as I've, as I've tried to uh, do this year after year. And so I te keep trying to take on new things, trying to challenge myself a little bit more uh, to see kind of what are the limits I can get myself to uh, just by pushing a mower and, and, and creating some patterns. Now the big part for me, which actually adds a lot of stress to the equation, is recording it with my drone. And so what I'll actually do, I get asked this a lot, is how do you record it with the drone? And so with my drone, I actually just fly it up, I, I hook it all up, I fly it up to the spot, get the camera set up to where I want it to be, and then I can just set down my remote and the drone will just stay there. So the drone doesn't move the whole time I'm, I'm flying. If it's real windy, you'll see it shift a little bit in that, but it'll stay in that whatever point that I left it. And so what I'll do is I get about a half hour's worth of battery on a drone and what will happen is is if that drone battery runs out the drone will fly back to wherever I took it off of and just land itself and so what I do is I'll look at my watch as soon as I sit down the remote and hit record for the video I'll look at my watch and I'll be like okay 25 minutes from now if I, I got to get this mode done in 25 minutes so each section that you see uh, of my lawn so the cross was one section uh, the shooting stars were one section and the flag was one section so in that video each one is in 25 minutes or under and so I know that I have to really get after it there's a million other ways you could film it or get it done or maybe for your first time you just want to take pictures do whatever you want to do but just have fun with it don't let it get you too stressed out and I promise you it'll, it'll you'll get better at it and it'll start to look really good so I'll put up on the screen here some different lawn designs that I've done uh, most of them weren't ones that I was trying to record or do things for and so it was just kind of spur of the moment hey let's just try this out and see how it works some were really good others not so much so there were some really ugly lawn patterns that I've done that I was just like yeah let's just try this see how it works out and then it, it doesn't work out and so um, I find it much better if I'm actually trying to film it uh, for an audience like on YouTube or on Facebook uh, that I make sure I do the proper preparation. I hope you guys enjoyed this. That was my kind of step-by-step. -step. I know it was a little bit complicated on some of that. If you have any questions about wanting to do any kind of special mow, go ahead, feel free to reach out to me or comment or have if you have any kind of questions. Um, I'd love to help you guys out if you're wanting to try to do something cool on your lawn. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time when we get out of the weeds into a beautiful lawn.